Some people like to think that the imagination is just for children and poets or inventors and dreamers, that it's something a bit frivolous, a bit silly. But in fact, the imagination is an essential part of the human mind and key to how we learn and grow and create. For example, when we learn about science, we might imagine what we could do with that knowledge, like cooking up our very own universe. Or in history, we can imagine how things might have been in the distant past. Dear stars, we lived among you once. It was brilliant. In geography, we can imagine what's happening right now in faraway places. And now, for the weather in Wonderland. Today will be mostly a pool of tears. And how about empathy? Being able to understand each other. To do that, we imagine what it's like to be someone else, to feel what they feel. And we can also imagine beyond the human world, like what might the sea or the wind say to us if we could speak their language? We can imagine fun things, like what if birds walked around in cities and us humans flew in the skies above them? We can look at ordinary things and realize how extraordinary they are when we really think about them. Imagine if swallowing were real, if we truly took things in through our mouths and they became part of us. The imagination fuels our dreams. It's a dream catcher, he whispered. We can use it to reach beyond our fears and find the courage to rise like Murray, the mountaineer who was frightened of heights. And we can use it to imagine good things when life feels a bit tricky, to help us to feel better. Welcome to the Imaginarium. It's not just for Saturdays. <laughs>